set the record straight. This is not about your trial, your court appeal. It is about two parts of inner man, then and now. I don't see it as me having this gangster thug image. Um, thug life would be more accurate. It's not an image, it's just a way of life, it's a mentality. Yes, I have taken the time to reflect on it. Um, in my reflection, I don't see it as being wrong, I just see it as being a stage that we all go through. You know, um, it's just like that. For little white kids and rich kids, they get to go to the military academy or ROTC, or they get to take all of this energy and put it into the armed forces. And for a young black male, a young Puerto Rican or Hispanic person, we gotta put this in the streets. That's where our energies go. That's the only place we have to put it. At the end of the day, Tupac Shakur was a work in progress towards an unknown end. Within his mantra, Thug Life, was both his epitaph and the core of the two natures that drove him. Bad people was telling me, watch out, look out, signs up ahead. I was like, yeah, I got this, I got this. <laughs> it was written in ink, a brand, a philosophy, both words canceling each other out, the symptom of a problem in America, long in the making, black youth coming of age, angry. You know what I mean? A hard hand make a soft behind. It took five bullets for me to stop and see what was really going on. It was a philosophy which evolved as Tupac evolved. It came to reflect not only a conflict raging within him, but of the larger generation of which he found himself as spokesman. Even though I was surviving in the thug life, everybody that was trying to be like me was going to jail. And then finally I went to jail. And even though I wasn't getting shot up, they was all getting shot up, then I got shot up. And I started seeing, damn, you know, it is my fault. It is, it's not my fault where I made it happen, but it's my fault because I'm smarter than that.